Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. If you're new here, I am a reseller on Poshmark, Macari, and eBay, and I am filming another ship with me video. Usually these videos are a little chatty, so I just want to kind of put a little quick disclaimer there. Um, I also want to say that I'm excited because my eBay store just kind of blew up over the weekend. Blew up for me. I know I know some people's getting like 20 to 50 sales a weekend, but I have had zero sales on eBay the past three to four weeks. I don't know what happened. I know people are like up and down about being shadow banned sometimes. I don't know if that's what happened, but I was still getting watchers, but absolutely no sales. It was very strange. So out of nowhere, my eBay store just kind of blew up and I had so many watchers, people asking about items and I made five sales over the weekend, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but for me, I just feel very just excited um, to make that many eBay sales for a weekend. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop right in. I'm gonna try not to make this one too long because I'm kind of on a time crunch today. Um, and we have nine sales to package. Uh, I had no Macari, no Macari sales. Macari has been kind of dead, which I'm not surprised about. Macari has up and downs. Um, but I do notice I get traction over there when I do list. Um, but I have not been listing this past month, which we're in April now. Today's like April 3rd, I believe. Um, the full month of March, I did not list anything new except I did list maybe like 15 items from my own personal closet. Um, but I did not do any, um, like, I did not do any sourcing. I did a no by March. So that was, that was interesting. Um, I didn't see much of a change in my in my sales, if I'm being honest, I did a lot of relisting. I relisted almost my whole closet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's just eBay that kind of just went downhill. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna quit rambling. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and just start with the eBay sales first. And I'm apologizing in advance just for the lighting. It's kind of an overcast day and my office is already kind of darker. Um, so, well, it's like brighter, but when it's sunny, but it's not so yeah first the first thing i want to show is like the bulkier one um and it is this levi strauss um i think this is called the trucker jacket the trucker jean jacket it's a size large i've had this listed for a while um but there was some reasons why i feel like it did not sell as quickly as it should have because like levi strauss like jean jackets usually do really well i feel like um because they're sought out sought after um but this one does have a stain that i will show you really quickly it's on the bottom band and it's just pretty stained up right here if you can see that um so that was a flaw and also this specific style uh this specific style runs smaller so i had actually sourced this when i had not been um reselling for very long and I don't feel like I had quite um got the hang of looking for flaws because honestly if I would have saw that flaw now I would not have picked this up um but yeah it ended up selling finally after probably a year and a half for $14 which I'm I'm fine with I did I did pay up for this like six dollars at the time um you know, of course, things were a lot cheaper back in like 20, 2020, 2021. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad to finally see this go to a good home to someone that will enjoy this jacket. So, I'm just going to fold it up. And I will wrap it in some paper. And I'm milling this off in a 1092. And this is going to Connecticut. So that's that's always fun <laughs> to let y'all know what state it's going to. Sometimes I forget, so I apologize. But yeah, sales over the weekend were great. As far as like, oops, let's put a hole in that. Let me get this in here first. Go. But 
So yeah, sales this weekend were pretty just steady and I was really excited about that just because, um, you know, things have not been slow this month. I feel like the month, the month of March was a decent month. Um, it wasn't a bad sales month at all, but I, I haven't been getting like good sales weekends very often. Um, like I used to. So the fact that this weekend was a pretty good sales weekend, I'm really excited about. Um, I'm just using these Jesus Loves You stickers. I've talked about these before. I just love using these just to share the gospel of Jesus with every um, every one of my customers. And I put it on the outside of their box um, so that they'll be able to see it. But also my mailman and whoever else it comes in contact with will be able to see that. And it'll be a remi reminder to them. I will um, just list everything below that I use that part of my shipping. Okay, so this next sale, oh, is this Jax the Label. I had never heard of this brand before. This, this dress was actually given to me from my mother-in-law. Here's the, the tag for it. And it's just a nice sheath dress. Just, you know, very like, I guess you could wear this at work. You could wear this to an event. It's just a really nice dress. Um, I wasn't sure how to price it, but I don't think the stuff was going, uh, the, the other dresses by this brand was going for too, too much. Um, so I had, I had initially priced this around like, 25 and um it just wasn't moving and again like my my ebay store has been so just slow so i went through my ebay pricing last month and i just started dropping prices on things that um, were not getting much interest um and I feel like that was pretty successful doing that. So I guess if maybe you're not getting a lot of sales on a certain platform, just drop the prices a little bit. Because maybe for that per particular platform, you might have your prices a little bit too high. And I think that's kind of the issue I was having with some of the items um, that were not selling on eBay. So yeah. I hope that... The one who bought this, there's just like a little bit of a, a rub of something right there. So I'm just scratching it off a little bit. I hope whoever bought this dress enjoys it. It's a very cute dress. Um, and I'm going to send it off in, I got to make sure that's right. Yes, priority, priority mail. So I'm just going to put it in one of these. If I had some like light tissue paper... I would wrap it, but I do not. So I don't want to put extra weight to it. So I'm just going to send it as is. And hopefully they'll be okay with that. I don't like doing that. But I can't really help it in this situation here. But yeah, I've seen that my channel is growing, which I'm really excited about. Um, and... I really love when you guys interact with me as well. So I really appreciate the comments. And um, even when people like recommend stuff, you know, I, I appreciate that a lot. So this one is also going to Connecticut. I feel like I put the wrong logo there. What's going on? I need to double, okay, I'm going to have to double check these labels because I'm feeling very confused about my labels right now. So, anyway, we will, we will work on that in just a little bit. Where, who is getting the sandals? Oh, okay, y'all, it is just, that's why I was getting confused because that's going to Florida plus this one. Anyway, before I send these out, I will definitely just double check them um, to make sure they're going to the right place. But it was the the state that was kind of confusing me a little bit. Okay, so this next one 
is my one and only only pair of shoes that sold. I love selling shoes. It's like my favorite. Um, it's these pair of Calvin Klein sandals. These were my personal uh, sandals. They do have some wear. I wore them quite a bit. But the only issue with these was that they were narrow on my feet. They're very narrow. And they just weren't comfortable. But I kept using them because I love them. And finally, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to have to get some other type of sandals. <laughs> so I decided to put to list them. And they have been sitting in my closet for a little while. I think I listed them at the wrong season. I think I listed them in the winter. But now it's spring, so they sold finally. I should not have worn this shirt because these sleeves are so getting in the way right now. <laughs> but yeah. I did go thrifting for the first time in over a month yesterday. And I was just really disappointed. I went to the the Goodwill that I'm, I, I'm used to going to. And it was just, it was very packed out. Like, you know how you'll go into Goodwill sometimes? And it'll seem like they don't have much stock. Um, this, this time, like, it was like, the racks were hard to even get through. There was so much stock, but it was not, like, the greatest of stuff. I found, like, four items. And two of those items I'm keeping. One of them's for my husband, one for me. And it just was not the greatest stuff. We'll just say that. So that was disappointing. It being, like, the first time me going back to thrifting and not finding the best of stuff is just sad i had wanted initially to go to the the bend sometime this week but i just do not see that happening i have to take one of my dogs to the vet tomorrow because he's having some issues and he's my special boy and what i mean by special he's he just has problems with the vet y'all like it's a whole ordeal i have not took him in years because of how he acts so that's definitely like a Kind of a stressful situation i'm having to to take care of tomorrow um and then i have some other errands i need to run and and also this week is my birthday my birthday is on thursday so that's exciting um here here it is this is the label for this shirt this was also a personal item that i've had listed for a while And it is this, of course, it's going to sell in this season of time um, because of what it looks like. It is very spring. It's very cute. Um, I just didn't like how this looked on me. It's by Lane Bryant. It's called their swing uh, tee. And it's very, like, flowy and airy, as you can see, like, the bottom. It is very comfortable. Um, and it's that jersey knit material. Um, but it... If I'm being honest, on me personally, it made me look pregnant. So, I had <laughs> I had worn it a couple of times, like a handful of times. And I was just like, you know what? It's just not, it's not very flattering on me. I'm just going to get rid of this thing. So, I finally sold it. Um, and it sold for $14. And it's going to someone in Utah. Excuse me. It's going to someone in Utah. And it's being shipped first class. So, I'll just use a poly mailer. I will... I will put these down below. These are such a fave, favorite. Oh, I completely forgot. Well, I guess it's okay. I'll have to do it next time. I found these bookmarks that I had bought a couple years ago, and they're really cute. Um, it was back when I was reading books a lot, which I do not do anymore. The book that I, I read is the Bible, and I've just lost interest in anything fiction. Um, but they just have like a cute little butterfly bookmark in there and I was like I hate to just keep them um and never use them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the rest of the the shipments in the rest of the orders I just have forgot about them until just now but that was my intention so but yeah this one's going to Utah I hope they enjoy this blouse it is very cute and very springtime-ish I feel like I'm kind of everywhere with my speech right now, but uh, it's Monday, y'all. It's Monday. Okay.
Okay, next item is this J. Jill piece. This blouse is so cute, and if this would have been in my size, I would have kept this. It is so adorable. I love J. Jill stuff. It is this, like, floral, just very feminine blouse. Has, like, a little bit of sleeve detail to it. It's buttoned up in the front. It has that in the back. This is just really cute. Um, it's very, like, for the office, I feel like, or I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But this sold for $14. And I was expecting this to sell a little bit more, but J. Jill is so consistent. Um, you've probably heard that before. J. Jill is a very consistent brand that sells. It doesn't sell for a lot. It retails for a lot, but it does not sell for a lot. But I love, I love, I love, I love J. Jill stuff. I just think it's so cute. And um, I love selling the brand also. So yeah, glad to see this go. I did pay $4.89, so made $14 from it. Not the craziest profit or anything, but again, glad to see it go. Oops. And another random thing is these labels that I bought are horrible. I needed some new labels and I was trying to be a little frugal because the ones that I had had before were not cheap. And so I was trying to be a little frugal and I got the cheaper ones and, you know, just like they say, you, you pay for whatever you pay for is what you get. And in this situation, it, it, it's one of those situations. I forgot to put stickers on that other package. I'm, I just, I'm not, I'm not here today. I'm not. It's, it's kind of hard for me to concentrate for some reason today. Do, 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 do. Oh, this one doesn't close. Okay, we'll just put it in there as is. Um, I want to eventually possibly do like another ship with me video like this, but do like brands I would want to pick up. Um, so if you're interested in that, please, please like tell me below if that sounds like a good idea or if there's like a certain topic you would like me to cover about reselling. I would love, love to do a video. It's kind of like the last one where I had like a topic and kind of like a discussion and it was about like talking about, um, advice I would give to a new reseller and I'll link that video below, but it, I think it was, it was my last video, so it wasn't too long ago. <laughs> okay, so this next order is this Theory dress. This was a great find, um, but if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the older Theory tag. This is the Theory tag. And it is a linen dress. Very cute and just like minimalist, basic but I was excited to find it. It does have a flaw. There's like a, like the smallest marking on the back, which I did, I did dis disclose that information. And while I was at Goodwill yesterday, I actually found another theory piece and it was a men's shirt, but it was like all stained up. Or I probably would have picked that up just to see how it would do. Um, theory is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for because it retails for a lot and some of the stuff really um resells for a lot as well but yeah this sold for $29 and I paid probably around I think I got this before the prices went up at my Goodwill so I probably paid like $5.49 for it I think so not bad I was kind of surprised at um, not having more interest on that dress, but I, I think it was just the sizing. I could be wrong. Or just because it, it may be like an older style, but it didn't do like great as far as like um, people being interested in it. 
After I run out of these Jesus Loves You stickers, I want like a sticker that is like the same color. Like if I can find one like white or black, I just want them all to be the same color. That's what, that way like my packaging is pretty consistent. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into these four Poshmark sales. We are actually speeding through this right now. And I know I haven't been as talkative this time and I apologize. It's just one of those days where I just, I'm not in a very talky mood. Um, I know it's been like almost two weeks now since I filmed a video. I was gonna film one last week and I had started to film a full week of sales video, um, but I just stopped. Something came up and I can't even remember. I don't know, it might've even been like I wasn't getting sales and I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't want to like be like, oh yeah, I didn't have sales for like, three days because sometimes my 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 business goes through that it's like I've said before reselling can be very inconsistent um I'm about to show you what this is in just a second but yeah how has your sales been is there um like a certain brand you've been picking up a lot is what do you recommend when it comes to what items to pick up for the spring. Just curious. Okay, so this item here is a Perry Ellis. Just button down shirt, men's button down shirt. Um, this was my husband's if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Here's the Perry Ellis tag. Um, either it was my husband's or my mother-in-law gave it to me. I would not. I usually don't um, pick up Perry Ellis stuff. It's not like a brand, a men's brand that I would pick up from regular Goodwill. I might pick up something like this at the bins, but definitely not regular Goodwill. Um, it only sold, let me see, let me find this one. Um, I need to go in order. Okay, here it is. It only sold for $10 which made my profit $7.05. But I'm fine with that because this specific shirt's been sitting in my closet for a while. I had initially had a lot of men's shirts for sale, but then a couple of months ago, I was like, these things are not moving. They're taking up space. I ended up purging them and I probably got rid of half of them and just donated them to Goodwill. But I had not bought them myself. They had been given to me for my mother-in-law. But these, the ones that were like a a nicer brand, kind of like the Perry Ellis here, I did keep those because I'm like, eventually I feel like they will sell, maybe not for a lot, but le at least I'll make some kind of profit from it. I'm not gonna give him a bookmark. So yeah, I'm glad this finally did sell, even though it only sold for $10, there was no cost of goods. So I will take that. Should I? Okay. Let me see if I have one that's blue. <laughs> Okay, so I still wanted him to have a sticker, but I didn't want to put like a purple one. So I'm putting a blue one. I know there are a couple or at least one that I know of that is a newer reseller that is watching my videos. So um, again, I will just put down below um, all of my shipping stuff that I use, except for my paper. I get my paper from, um, Walmart. It's in the package, like where you get the stuff for like moving <laughs> the boxes and stuff. It's in that section usually like around the office supplies and I get a pack of it. It's usually like, I think it's $10 now. It didn't used to be that much, but inflation, you know, so, but yeah, I love this paper. I don't use it for all of my orders because there is some weight to it. Um, but for my Poshmark orders that 
don't really matter about weight as long as it's not going over five pounds i will wrap up my orders so these pants right here were given to me from my mother-in-law and that she had also gave me a white pair which sold like probably a month after she, after I had listed them and I've had these listed since 2021 um so it's been a while and it is these pair of level 99 linen blend black pants um if i would have if i could go back now i probably would have lotted this pair and the white pair together i probably would have made obviously i would have made more for them and been able to move them more quickly um but it's okay you live and you learn these are really nice pants but someone had even reached out to me on ebay and said that she thought that these pants were hemmed which is possible because I know the lady that had given these to my mother-in-law, she was very short. So it's very possible that she had had these altered. But I did have in the description the inseam, which again, I highly recommend. Like if, if you want to make more sales and not have to be as hands-on because I would say always put measurements. Like for pants, do inseam, do waist measurement. Um, because it's really helpful and before I wasn't doing that and I would get so many messages all the time can I get measurements can I get measurements and it was kind of irritating because then I would have to go and find that item so honestly it saves I just had a sneeze fit honestly it saves time and energy <laughs> just to go ahead and put in your measurements for every item like for your blouses do the pit to pit measurement um and do the length that's the that's the two that i make sure to do and then of course sometimes people need extra measurements and they'll ask for them but most of the time though the measurements i put is plenty and no one asks me for any other measurements so again these sold for gotta find the label these sold for $22. My earnings was $17.60, and that was all profit because these were no cost of goods to me. As you guys know, I don't really sell pants unless they're given to me, so that's not really an area of expertise that I have. But I do know pants do sell well. And a lot of people um, specifically just sell pants because there is a market for pants. Because pants, jeans, stuff like that are pretty expensive retail. Okay, we had two more orders. I forgot. I still forgot to put a bookmark. It's just going to be random. There's going to be random people that receive a bookmark. Okay, these pants. Okay, y'all probably remember these from one of my recent videos if you've been watching me. I have actually sold these before, but then I realized there was a flaw on them. It wouldn't come off. So these are by the brand Westbound, which if I'm not mistaken, it's sold at Nordstrom. I could be wrong about that. This might even be Walmart. Who knows? I, I don't even know. I can't remember. Um, but these um, had sold before and it had the flaw and I had reached out to the lady and I'm like, hey, would you still like to buy them? Would you still like me to send them? She never got back to me. So eventually, like two or three days later, I was like, I'm going to have to like cancel this order. And so I canceled it. And I had let her know that I was going to. Did I? Uh, okay, no, I didn't. I did not let her know I was relisting them. But I did relist them and um, just put in. There was that flaw on them, which the flaw is like on the pocket area. It's like right here. And so you can't really see that when you're wearing them. Um, but I did put that they had tags, but that there was a flaw. And they sold for $11. And these I actually got in a Thread Up Rescue box, which I eventually needed to get another one of those boxes. But like I've said before, I'm kind of scared to because... Um, 
the one I got last time just wasn't that great. And I feel like I'm in a place in my business where like, I really cannot afford to take chances like that, if that makes sense. So I don't know, maybe eventually I will buy one. I've been, I've been saying I, I'm gonna buy one and I just have not. But yeah, these, I'm thankful they sold. And I, did, I just didn't make much from them. I made like maybe $3. And that's kind of how everything from that box has been. It's just, it has not been a mu much of a money maker at all. So I'm still, if I'm not mistaken, I'm still in the red, the negative, with that box. I still have not made back my money, which is unfortunate. I think I'm going to send this off in a box because they're a little heavy. I'm just going to put it in a 1097, which is like just a smaller box, smaller than a 1092. And I like using this for like bulkier items that I don't feel comfortable sending in a Tyvek, but I know that like a 1092 is going to be too big, basically. There's so many different types of USPS boxes. Um, so if you're kind of wondering like, okay, what, which ones do I need to order online? Cause it is free to order. You just make an account, the account's free. Um, and you have them shipped to your house for free. But if you're wondering which ones to pick up, you can actually go to your post office and usually um, they will have like a variety of sizes like out front and if they don't you could even ask hey can i see a few of the sizes of priority mail boxes just to get an idea before i order them and they will most definitely do that for you i feel like um and a lot of times well not a lot of times but it's been once or twice i've ran out of some kind of usps priority mail um blocks or whatever that I was using and I've been able to get them from my post office and just get a couple from them and you know just just form a relationship with your postal workers and be like hey as soon as I get some of the mail I'll, I'll give you give them back to you at least for my uh, post office is a very small post office and sometimes there's like a delay in those types of shipments so I just replace them if I was to get them the next sale is this Vera Bradley tote bag. I thought this was going to be like such a great sale. Like I was like, oh my gosh, I found this. But Vera Bradley, I'm coming to find out, um, realizing, I mean, is not like the best, the most best seller. And if, okay, it will sell, but I not for the price that I paid for. I paid like $6 for this. And if I would have saw this at, at the bins, definitely the pickup to get, um, but like regular Goodwill pricing, I'll still pick them up because there is profit there. But if you're wanting to make like a lot of profit from a purse, I wouldn't say it's Vera Bradley unless it's like a Vera Bradley that's, um, uh, what's the word? Rare. So this sold for $22. I paid six. And so I had made $15.58 and then you would take the $6 that I paid for it away. So not the, not the best profit, but I'll take it. <laughs> I thought this tote was very cute. And I am folding it like this just because it's just like that material that can be folded and not get messed up. If this was like, um, obviously a structured purse, I would put it in probably a box number seven and just stuff it to make sure that it keeps its shape. But I'm just going to mail this in a 1097. I know like purses, I, I wish that I found good purses every time I go to Goodwill, but I don't. I know a lot of people find them when they go, but... Um, I have found like a P Patricia Nash purse at my Google Report, and that was pretty exciting. I'm trying to think if I'm if I'm not mistaken, that's the only designer purse I found there. I have found Michael Kors 
but they were just way, 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 way too beat up. So I did not pick them up. But what's some purse, um, like pocketbook purse, tote bags, brands that you like to pick up? I'm curious. I don't, I don't feel like I know much about like handbags enough to like sell them. Or not enough to sell them, enough to know what to pick up. Okay, you guys, that is it. I feel like this video has been a little bit everywhere and I have not been very focused when I am talking. So I apologize for that. But I hope that this is still enjoyable. I hope that you get some kind of something from it, um, at least to know what to pick up when you're out sourcing. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video again and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.